Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. And as you can see behind me, I am in Boho, the island of Philippines, and we can see some rice fields behind us as people are preparing for the rains to come and to plant their rice. Somebody say hallelujah. So I'm going to read from Matthew chapter 13. We're going to talk about the parable of the sower. And according to verse 3, it says, Then he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. Some fell on stony places where they did not have much earth, and they immediately sprang up because they had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root with them, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell on the good ground and yielded a crop, and some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. And he who has an ear to hear, let them hear. Somebody say hallelujah. Jesus Christ went on to explain this parable to his disciples. Because he said, blessed are you because you've been given ears to hear and understanding. But those that have heard this parable, because Jesus was speaking to a multitude, they could not understand what Jesus was saying. In actual fact, he went on to also quote the prophets of old saying that, hey, you know, they spoke of such a time today. People will hear, but not understand. And even the prophets and righteous men of old would have loved to be living at such a time as this. Let me tell you today, even the apostles, even the early church fathers would also like to be living in such a time as this today. So he went on to explain the parable to his disciples. And he said, hey, the man that is sowing the seeds is God himself. And the seed is the word of God. It is the gospel that comes to enrich it comes to grow. Now, the first person, it was thrown to the wayside. They are those that do not even understand the word of God. Maybe there are people in your family around you. When you tell them the word of God, they just don't understand because the veil is before them. They cannot even understand. And then the devil is that bird that comes along and removes that seed. And so it is the devil comes to try to take away from us. He tries to use different things. Then it goes on and talks about the next one. It says that the seed was thrown into a rocky area where there wasn't enough soil. And so it is when such people receive the word, they receive it with gladness. It starts to spring forth and starts to grow, but because it doesn't have enough soil, it doesn't grow roots to go deep down. Somebody say, hallelujah. But what we're seeing here, because it did not have enough soil, that represents those that receive it with a glad heart. But when the persecution comes, when tribulation comes as a result of the gospel, they do not stay around. Therefore, the sun comes and scorch it and they stop following the Lord. What about those where the seed is thrown into thorny areas, precious saints? Those thorny areas are the cares of this world, the, the cares and the worries of different things. And then they get choked up by those cares and they're no longer able to follow the gospel. But then there are those where the seed is thrown onto good ground. They are able to yield a crop of a hundredfold, sixtyfold, fortyfold, twentyfold, and so forth. And so it is with those that receive the gospel. They will prosper in whatever they do. They will have roots that will be able to go deep down. They'll be able to endure difficult times. They'll be able to endure just like people are planting here. Maybe there are seasons, there are elements that can come along. Maybe it's a typh typhoon. Maybe it's the scorching sun. 
Maybe it is birds that come to steal. Whatever it is, they are able to deal with the elements because the elements can affect the crop that you are having. So it is with the Word of God. God has given us understanding. You are a blessed generation. The Holy Spirit is with us. He wants to bless us. He wants to bring revival in this end time hour. Somebody say hallelujah. You are blessed because even the apostles, even the prophets of old were waiting for such a time where the Holy Spirit would be poured out upon all flesh. You are a blessed generation. You are a blessed people. And we're about to see the greatest outpouring of His Holy Spirit. And just in the coming months, this will yield a crop of rice that will be a hundredfold. When this revival comes, it will reap a hundredfold. Not 60, not 40, not 20 a hundredfold. This is the fullness of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless each person. Heavenly Father, I pray today, those that hear this parable and the understanding of this parable, give them understanding. May they flourish in everything they do. May they prosper in everything they do. May they also desire a revival to come in this hour. May the nations hear, and he says, they that have ear, let them hear. They that have eyes, let them see. I pray and declare, O oh Lord, let people understand how blessed they are to be living in such a time. May the rain come. May the Holy Spirit come. May the glory of God come and fill your temple once again. Bless your people in Jesus' mighty name. This is Pastor Robert Clancy coming to you all the way from Boho in the Philippines. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom. Shalom, shalom.